Tomorrow, I understand that you and some other members of the Judiciary Subcommittee on the Courts, including Congressman Chuy Garcia, who's been on the show many times in the past, are going to be making an announcement about Clarence Thomas. I don't know if you want to save that for tomorrow. Can you share a little bit about what you're going to be doing? We'll be calling for um, the resignation of Clarence Thomas. I've called for his resignation um, when the ProPublica story broke, and we'll be calling for it tomorrow. I think momentum is gathering for uh, him to, to do just that. He has brought shame and dishonor to the court on which he sits. It is causing Americans to lose confidence in the legitimacy of the court. And he is someone who can no longer serve with um, uh, the public trust and confidence uh, that is needed for uh, justice to, to be adhered to, to, the, to the people. I mean, the court doesn't have an army. Uh, mm -hmm. it, can't, it doesn't have a police, that can, a police department that can enforce its rulings. Its rulings uh, need to be uh, observed by the people. And when people lose respect for the court, they start to think that the rule of law is something that is not necessary for them to abide by. And that results in a lawless society. And so that's where we are headed with the attacks on the uh, democracy that Donald Trump has, um, has put the nation through, uh, with the attacks on democracy that the legislative branch under Republican control is putting the country through. And then uh, a one-man crime wave uh, in uh, Justice Clarence Thomas. I shouldn't say a crime wave, but a wave of, um, of uh, corruption. I'll say mm -hmm. that. Sure. Uh, who is undermining the uh, credibility of the judiciary and thus uh, striking at uh, the third underpinning of our democracy, the judicial branch. So our democracy is under attack. Let no one... Uh, dispute that from various angles, and um, Justice Thomas is uh, is a weak link in that uh, chain in the judiciary. 